night, they were celebrating New Year's Eve. He was out, ending their life. I'm going to commit murder at midnight. That's like the really lame ass, especially made song for New Year's Eve, kind of a theme song. I can't remember the lyrics, but it's some kind of glam band. Yeah, it very much speaks of its time. Of the early 80s. So we're yeah. here to review uh, 1981's New Year's Evil. And uh, this movie, I can remember, I can tell you, I can tell you the day I saw it for the very wow. first time. Well, it's very easy because it's December 31st, wow. 2000. So uh, we rented uh, this movie, actually me and my girlfriend at the time, rented the VHS tape from the video store, which existed <laughs> no at the time. Exists. And uh, we sat down and, you know, as it got, you know, probably 9, 10-ish, we popped in New Year's Evil. Neither of us had seen it. And it was an obvious one to see on that day. And, uh, you know, we just watched it and it was just, I don't think at the time I necessarily thought I was going to ever really necessarily see it again. But it was one of those things that, like with several of just bad horror movies or bad movies in general over the years, that kind of I end up, well, it's one of those things where basically you start off annually. Mm -hmm. Whether it's good or not, it's New Year's Evil. There's not a whole lot, I mean, there's other, a couple other, I think, New Year's horror. I can't remember the title of the other one that I'm familiar with, but so regardless of if you like it or not, you kind of maybe check it out for a while every every year anyway. But this is one that kind of grew on me. I ended up, you know, trying to I found it on eBay to be able to buy it, and I actually got two different. I've got like three tapes of it now, kind of collected. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a DVD of it or anything right. yet. Yeah, that I know. Which is kind of a shame. I mean, there's a lot worse movies on DVD. You know, like every full moon movie and, and all kinds of <laughs> trauma movies and stuff like that. So it's a shame, you know, it, it, it's actually a canon movie. You know, we talked about yeah. uh, Invasion USA and, and the two guys that, that are canon, and it's an early, an early 80s canon movie. And it's so goofy that it's just awesome. I mean, it's so stupid that it's, it's awesome. The premise in a lot of ways is, is very kind of cool where you got a killer who's like, how many time zones are there in this country? Four? Uh, Do you know, like you got east, yeah, like yeah, not yeah I think there's Hawaii or anything. Like oh that. Yeah. yeah, well, there's east where we are, and this this whatever you call it, central, central, and then there's mountain, and then like yeah. Pacific or yeah. whatever. So there's four time zones, which means there's four uh, New Year's Eves, right? So what the story, the writers did is say, well, there's four times in the country where it's New Year's, where New Year's strikes, and people are yay, yay, big deal. So why don't we have every single time? Or at least this is the killer's plan. Yeah. <laughs> every single time that happens, I can't even remember why this is, probably no reason. Every single time it's New Year's starting on the East Coast, uh, via, well the funny thing is it takes place in LA, but they just listen to the radio. Yeah. The killer just listens to the radio of the East Coast, so he's like, right on midnight, kills, he wants to kill a woman every, every time it, it strikes midnight, which is every hour, I think, yeah, right? 
so, pretty much every hour, right every on the hour. hour. Yeah, right on the dot. So what 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 ends up happening, which is very funny, is he he starts off with the first one. It works, which is actually kind of realistic. What ends up happening in the movie, which is he starts off with the first one, East Coast, right at midnight. Perf you know, he does the kill as planned, and the second one, it's like. You know, driving around, <laughs> so he's got an hour to find another woman, right? <laughs> so it, you can tell it's it, it almost didn't happen on schedule mm. for the second one, and by the third one, it just it doesn't even work <laughs> anymore. And he, you know, the third time the New Year's went by, like the the, the 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 mountain, whatever it is, the third time zone goes by, and he's not able to. By then, he's been chased by the cops, and everything everything goes sour. Which is like I say, it's it's realistic. If you were yeah. a psycho. And decided to kill four women on New Year's. You, that's probably you probably wouldn't get to number two. Or yeah. luckily, you know, hopefully for women's sake, you wouldn't get to number one. But I just think it's so funny how the cycle had this grand plan, and it gets halfway there, and then yeah, you know, so it's just ridiculous. And and the movie is basically just like I say, uh, ridiculous. And um, like I say, it's it's got the main thing takes place at this like. This, this, I can't remember, I think it's Roz Kelly, I can't remember what her name is. She's, been, she's actually in a lot of TV shows. She was in like an episode that we saw of Dukes of Hazard and stuff. But she's this woman, this blaze, this this old 40, well, I can't say old, I'm going to be probably old someday too. So so then when we're watching these, I'll be like, old, I was young. But uh, she's this woman, this 40-something uh, woman who's like a, a glam pop, Band, rock, yeah. whatever, yeah. host, and she's a famous host or whatever, so they're having this live glam <laughs> rock, whatever you call it, punk, it's really just like New Year's uh, bash. So, and the, there's a killer that calls in on the phone, because it's a call in and, re and request your favorite song or something, show or something, and the killer's like, We're absolutely so stupid, maybe I'll post a clip of it or not, I don't know, of the killer who's using this voice changer thing and it's like this is evil and it, when yeah. i saw it i was like am i am i really hearing this it yeah. was so stupid it is masterful i am going to kill someone at midnight i gotta do this someone close to you <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It was, it, it, I was, I, it was laughable. <laughs> it was I actually uh, put my VHS on a DVD, which he was lucky enough to get in, from me. In about 2000, the Christmas two of years, 2008. Two and years later, you've watched it. I, I watched it shortly oh, after. Shortly after. I, 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 probably, I assume I gave it to you around You this gave time it to me year. for Christmas. Oh, okay. Uh, in a little stocking thing. Oh, gosh, and that then, was nice. I don't remember. <laughs> I uh, I had a uh, a stack of movies and then I went through them alphabetically. Uh, N being oh right l at the and latter I I missed the New Year's. Oh that's all right. Uh, <laughs> I ended up watching it sometime like in April of some uh, of, of, of that year. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice Easter movie. I watched it in April and I was sitting there like trying to really piece together uh, what like as I'm watching it I'm like this isn't particularly well made. It's not really likable, it's it's goofy and it sort of has little echoes of Scream as in the phone call killer oh, kind yeah, of thing. Sure, yeah. And I'm like, maybe that's what it is? And I was trying to figure out what, what it was that you sort of oh, what like, I, liked about why it. Why I watch it more yeah. than once. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, yeah, basically why why this one <laughs> sticks with you. Because I'm like, because it's I so watched damn this. Stupid. Yeah, I'm like, this is really not a great movie. What is it here? And so I started like midway through trying to figure out what it is that you are, are appreciating. <laughs> and I didn't really figure it out until now is that you don't like the movie because it's good. It's like you it like the movie because it's, it's it's really awful. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> it's an awful movie. And it makes me like you just talking about it makes me want two things. Number one, want to rewatch it just to now that I know. <laughs> and number two <laughs> Like, make it, it, uh, this movie, I think, actually might benefit from a remake or a reboot just simply because the, the plot idea. actually isn't that bad. It's and I do cool. like that the killer kind of... And that was one of the things that I liked at the time, where I was like, at least it's kind of realistic. Like, yeah, he has, that he isn't he's able to successfully... Like, he, like he's, he's real human, where, like, cops are, like, catching on to this, and he's like, oh, God! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, what's the what's great is like I say, first murder without a hitch, and the second one is like 
didn't work out as planned, but he was able to just barely get it off. And yeah. Like I say, that was the like this might actually benefit from a. Uh, it, it is. I think it's one of the rare some cases where you, you take a because a lot of times for whatever what because they have names that's why they take a classic and remake it and it's just stupid. Yeah. I think they should do a lot more of these where you take a stupid movie and remake it. Yeah, there are a good. lot of movies that, that very, have potential that have a lot of potential and just never really pan out either because of uh, budgetary reasons or stuff like that. This one being like the eighties was all about we have to copy Halloween, we have to copy Friday find the thirteenth. Find a, a that's holiday, where the money is. Find a holiday that hasn't been used yet. Yeah, yeah. and so like that's and almost every horror movie of that decade sort of just reeks of it. And <laughs> in in not a good way, obviously. Uh, and the ones that don't Started their own franchises, and then you just they got muddled through horrible, horrible sequels that followed and whatnot, so that you can't even appreciate those ones anymore. So yeah, going back and and hearing my hearing your review, like because when I watch it, I'm like, this isn't very good. I'm, like it's a one and a half star movie. But your point is is that yeah, it is a one and a half star movie. That's what makes it a three star movie. I don't know how many stars you give it. Three, three stars. It doesn't yeah. deserve three stars. But it's it's so entertaining to me. It's Chud. Chud is a terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. That when you watch it, you're like, this is a masterpiece. A you masterpiece have to be so of... stupid to make this movie. Of... I can't wait to watch yeah. it again. Of badity. Yeah. yeah, like it's it's the worst like movie of the '80s. But you can't help but love the movie just because it's so just dumb. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the, I'm on board. You've got me. Well, good. And I yeah. hope. You are on board as well. If you haven't seen New Year's Evil, you know, check it out. I, I believe this was maybe a year or two ago that it is. It was actually on YouTube in its entirety. Well, you got the DVD from me. I but for, for anyone else out there who hasn't seen it, I can't say right now. But chances are it might be on YouTube in its entirety. So uh, try searching for New Year's Evil and uh, check it out because uh, it's a great stupid movie. Yes. It's, it's a, one of the. It's a really good stupid movie, and like I say, that guy's killer in his voice. That voice was just like so forced. <laughs> like, That's what's so perfect. It's as stupid like, as it could possibly be. Like you hear the voice in um, in uh, what was the other one we did? Black Christmas and whatnot. And it's like that was more real. That was yeah, realistic. There's, there's like some form of menace to it. Oh yeah. And this one was like a it almost sounded the like. It was like the Batman of voices, like the Christian Bale, like, <laughs> oh, fuck. where like the person is just forcing so hard I to try to sound menacing that it just becomes laughable. That you're just like on the other end, just what like, the fuck? <laughs> like if I would have gotten that phone call, I would have been, been laughing. Yeah, yeah I would have been like, whoa, come on, what are you playing at? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to go past 15 minutes, so I think we'll we'll leave it at that. You what starch? I'd give it about one and a half. One and a half. I'm gonna go back and rewatch. Yeah, it. give her a shot. I always Maybe. give a movie two shots anyway, so, so, so go it's for about it. time. Yeah, especially this time of year. Yeah. So, New Year's Evil, check it out, and uh, I gotta do it once more. I love saying it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kill someone you know. <laughs> check it out. Someone close to you. Happy New Year. Hey, officer, can you give me a hand over here? I think I found a drunk. <laughs>